I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing. You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I, I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. I wish I had the words to turn you away from this path, son. God help me, I wish I did.
Burke. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now it's in everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. The fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidan back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. You bald and chalky bastard once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the lakes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your king, you are caught and run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. in a bit. We got more to discuss. Get a move on! So soon, then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Pot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what can a booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kinda's of not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in, takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. 
Uh -huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'd either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. And Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. With Irish point in my hands, we'll be primed to take the rest of the city. Lincoln, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever led on to where he keeps his stills? Ah, uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hit somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You know what Bevis is up to, you're gonna have to get at some of his people. When he boxed, they used to call him Brooklyn Bevers, on account that he'd hit some poor fuckers so hard, they'd feel it all the way in Brooklyn. Gave that fool a gun! Make way! I can't get out of here! Gonna put you down, son.
You gotta get yours! I need resupply and point Badan. Be out directly. So fucked. How long's it been in here? Three, maybe four. Days? Days? Jesus, Jackie was just supposed to rough him up a little. Find out what he knows. He was being an asshole. Wouldn't tell me shit. So I thought he needed a little time to simmer. Does it look like he's simmering now? Oh, what the fuck am I gonna do? Butcher's gonna grind me in the burger. Jesus. Gonna have to ask you to leave.
Let's go! 